Hello, I'm Command Sergeant Major Dave Puig, Army Contracting Command's Command Sergeant Major. I've been in the position since April, and I wanted to take the opportunity to give you a brief look at the areas I've been focusing on. First of all, it is truly an honor for me to be your Command Sergeant Major. I'm already immersing myself in the numerous challenges that face our Army and the contracting community. Let me say this, I am not a contracting expert. Major General Harrison was looking for someone with experience in working within a small career field, managing a dispersed command, and a person who had the ability to explain ACC's relevancy when engaging with Army senior leaders. That said, during my tenure, I'll be focusing on training and readiness and mentoring, core competencies, and serving as an advocate to the command for the senior Army leadership. During my travels within the command, there have been two things that I've noticed at every location. First is the fantastic job that you do. The ACC workforce is phenomenal. The professionalism I've seen within the command is second to none. As a command sergeant major at a life cycle management command, I've worked with civilians and soldiers, but the working relationships within the ACC are something I've never seen before. The synergy between the uniform and non-uniform personnel workforce is nothing short of amazing, and I applaud your efforts. Keep up the good work. The second thing I've discovered is that most people outside of the organization have no clue what you do. Because you are so good at seamlessly providing the services and goods required to keep the Army moving, you have become victims of your own success. Leaders outside of the organization are not familiar with what it takes to get what they want. I want to change that paradigm. I will take every opportunity to engage with the Army's senior leadership, general officers, officers, non-commissioned officers, and privates to help them understand the work done by this command so they have a better appreciation of what it takes to make the Army run. We need to draw back the curtain and explain to folks what the that the equipment and services just don't magically appear. They need to know the dedicated workforce that is working on their behalf. In my travels, I take time out to conduct NCO professional development sessions to ensure that you have the latest on any training and readiness issues and changes. Being the best soldier you can be requires maintaining your military skills as well as your technical skills. Senior NCOs in the field are doing a fine job of mentoring those they serve. Don't forget the junior NCOs of today are tomorrow's senior NCOs. I want to develop our brigade sergeants major to be competitive and to become the first nominative 51 Charlie Command Sergeant Major. Nothing would make me happier than when I leave, than to see a great command sergeant major and leader replace me who is drawn from within the 51 Charlie MOS. Not just a contracting expert, but a true leader that understands the unique challenges and complications of this command. I've had a little time to visit various units within this command, and I have been impressed with the professionalism and dedication of our soldiers and civilians. Again, I am not a contracting expert, and I wasn't brought on to be one, but I think my leadership experience and ability to engage from the foxhole to the highest level of leadership will be beneficial to the command. I guarantee for as long as I'm within this command, I will give 110% of my effort. Thank you, and Army Strong.